and I did both parsley as opposed to uh, one parsley and one cilantro because I did my parsley in the first one and then this one is topped off with cilantro. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this completely off, okay? I'm just going to turn it completely off and kind of let that thing you. Uh, no, this is parsley. This is the parsley. This is the parsley. Yeah, I need the other green. Uh, we can just leave it right there. Thank you. Okay, so now that is that is looking really good. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to add my sausage back in. Okay, this is cilantro. Okay, so. I'm adding my sausage back in, okay, and just gonna, and at this point, it is ready to serve. Mmm, that's the best part about the whole cooking, is that we get to um, serve it. And just so that you know, um, I did wash this all earlier, so don't, everybody don't, don't, don't freak out. Okay, just so you know, you look at the shape of the leaf, just like Denise uh, said, that one of the leaves looks like the, leaf, the maple leaf of Canada and the other one doesn't, okay? So this is our cilantro here and I know that this is my cilantro. And you just wanna take a little bit of cilantro and put it into the dish to just give it a little bit of a compliment to, um, to the dish, okay? Any questions about anything? Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All your um, recipes is on your Swift Ministry? Correct. Okay, yes. She's got a couple things on here already. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I don't have to write it down, right? Can... You, can, you, you yeah. can go there, yes. Okay. And um, again, it is, um, it is only first off by the grace of God. But I also am very grateful and thankful to um, our director, Denise Sanderson, of the community center, who allows us to be able to convene here and to be able to do this. We, the garden thing that we have out there, to be able to put this information up, um, it is a blessing, such a blessing. And so I'm ever so grateful and thankful uh, for the, by the grace of God, and as I say, that he touches her heart to be able to open up this space uh, for us. And it is for, this is for the betterment of the community. So, um, this is what we wow. end up with. That's nice. Okay. And you notice the cilantro you put in as much or as little as you want. I myself like a lot of cilantro. Some people not so much. Okay. So, that being said. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, when you put the onion in there, does that depend on what kind of onion? In this dish, regular white or yellow onion. Okay. okay, you don't want to put red onion in here because the red onion will overpower the flavor of the celery. It will also overpower the flavor of the shrimp, which the shrimp, these aren't real shrimp. Okay, these are like vegetable shrimp. And so it will totally overpower, excuse me, the taste of it. Okay, okay? so. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to taste some of this. Okay, are there any other questions? Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of the, um, the turnips and our lovely, my lovely assistant, if you would please. <laughs> If you can take a napkin and be careful because it's hot. Okay. Recycling. Yes, you are. <laughs> hmm? Yes, we are recycling. As I said, we recently went down, just came back from Tucson, 
and we're really excited about an upcoming trip to Florida for and we are we ask you to just keep an eye on the website because we are going to we're going to tape it our travels um, for people who um, are just venturing maybe wanting to venture out in um, in the uh, RV world okay uh, but also um, taking our ministry uh, that the Lord has been so gracious to bless us with um, like road stops uh, witnessing Bible study if we can get it uh, just wherever the Lord will lead we are very much excited to um, we're very much excited to be able to share that with everyone so definitely you want to keep an eye out okay and I will say that um, something that I want to do here is I'm sure that everyone has maybe prayed over their food but uh, one thing I would like to do is I would like to thank everybody for coming and I would like to conclude with a quick word of prayer okay and then we can all continue to enjoy our food okay Amen. Amen. So, Heavenly Father, we are grateful and thankful for the success of this particular session. We are thankful that of all the individuals that you brought here today, and we pray, Father, that uh, you will have them leave with more than what they came, Father. Help them to take this information and spread it, spread it out there, that uh, you are the master chef and you are the one that says that this is wholesome and nutritional food and we're ever so grateful and we ask that you would bless it for the nourishment of our bodies in jesus name we pray amen, amen. amen. this is good i should gonna be sorry she missed it she's gonna be sorry she missed it okay Hook me up, baby girl. Okay. Thank you. And this sausage. You still rolling? That's the real problem. You said the sausage you get from Loving Hut? No. The, the shrimp I get from Loving Hut. The sausage I got that from Sprouts. Okay. Yeah, I got that from Sprouts. And they have different kinds. They don't have a Cajun. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to have a Cajun sausage for this because that's what the recipe called for. But instead, um, did everybody get served? Okay, that's what um, the recipe called for. Um, but I went with Italian sausage and um, I think that it, it, it is the same. Okay. The, the, um, Turnip? Turnip. Turnip. Sweet. It's in the health food section. Well, it's turnip. And the veggie cheese and all that. That's the root. That's the root. It's a 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 um, red pepper flakes and uh, for for which recipe? I don't know. All of them taste good. Well, you just mixed it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, mixing it up is good too. Um, but the Tony's, yeah, you know, that's the only real um, and a little salt. Mm -hmm and the red pepper flakes in there mm -hmm. with some uh, little maple syrup. Mm -hmm. So you don't... Um, I gotta say, you don't cook the turnips until they're like soft, mushy. You still want that crunch. You still want that crunch because here's the key to food. If you make it easy to go down, people don't get tired of chewing. Right. But if you get tired of chewing, 
you don't eat as much. Right. Right? So. I've never experienced getting tired of children. <laughs> <laughs> I like how your rice maintains consistency of not chewing or jumping. Right. The key is refrigerator. If you are going to do a fried rice, you always want to refrigerate your rice. Cook your rice the day before, put it in the refrigerator. Actually, you can leave your rice in the refrigerator up to a week. The longer it's in there, the better it's going to work in your dish. Okay? Um, that's just like um, tofu, and I'm going to have a class all about tofu. Um, the key to tofu is drying it out. Most people don't do that. First time I heard that. And so it ends up like people want to do tofu eggs. They don't hold up. It doesn't get hard like eggs. You know, it's kind of mushy and it's, right. it's not very. The texture is not very flavorful. But if you drain out the water, suck up the water from the tofu, then start your process for the eggs. It'll come out just like eggs. And uh, my husband can attest to that. Um, he said, eh, okay, I took that to me that it was good. When he, when he does that. Eh, okay, you know. Please feel free to have more if you like. Because there is more here. I want to try some of that um, tofu catfish. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. I said, how in the world did she do that? I don't know, but it come out there like catfish. <laughs> I think I think it does. Um, it's um, I did some fried tofu, but I didn't put the seasonings in it um, to give it the catfish flavor. Mm -hmm. But um, it's just a matter of the seasoning that you do. So it doesn't and, break down when you fry. Hmm. Not if you uh, not if you dry it first. Take the water out. You have to take the water out of it. So how do you Unless do that? you are compressing. Yeah, you get some paper towels and towels and stuff like that. And she's got some towels out of the way. And then you wrap it up and then you fold it in how you wrap it in um, paper towels and then you fold it up. You can have more if you like more. Mm -hmm. You come help yourself. Mm -hmm. This is. Mm. Yes. And remember, third John one, verse two. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper in health even as thy soul prospers. Okay? Always remember that the Father wants us to be in good health. And so the foods that we eat, the nutrition that we take into our bodies is highly, highly important that we are careful uh, when consuming uh, various different foods. And remember, this Thanksgiving, try to do something a little different. Try to do something a little opposite the turkey. Okay, this is a wonderful main dish, the rice, wonderful main dish. Uh, I will say this, you can also do this with potatoes. The same thing you do with the rice is what you do with the potatoes. You cook the potatoes, you cut them up, and you put them in the refrigerator. And you leave them in the refrigerator overnight. And then when you go to make this dish, make sure they're cut, they're cut up small. So when you go to do this dish, it stands firm and it doesn't go mushy. Okay, yes. Are you going to do something different for Thanksgiving instead of turkey? Probably do a fish. You can do that. Mm -hmm. You can do mm, uh, stuffed fish. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And I have a really good recipe for stuffed fish. Mm -hmm. So, I want to hear from my and I and and I know that. Done? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. And you make it a blessed day. Thank you.